Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I am in the town of Guildford in Surrey today. Um, I've just parked in the Millbrook car park. We're going to check out the town. This is the River Way behind me, so we're going to have a look around that, have a little walk around this area. And there's also a castle in the town centre as well. So we're going to check out Guildford Castle as well. All right, join me as we explore this area. Guildford is a bustling market town situated in the county of Surrey, England. You can reach Guildford in just 33 minutes by train from London Waterloo. There are many shops and restaurants to see here and the town does feature higher end option restaurants such as the Ivy and the Coat French restaurant. After exploring the high street, I made my way to explore the castle gardens here, which you can enter for free. The castle gardens are a real gem in this town and the colourful flowers and plants make the area really vibrant and it's also great for photos too. The castle has been previously used as a royal palace, a prison and a private residence. Guildford Castle and Grounds were sold to the Guildford Corporation in 1885. The grounds at Guildford Castle opened as public gardens in 1888 to mark Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee in 1887. The castle gardens also feature other attractions, such as a life-size statue of Alice through the looking glass, a bowling green and music concerts in the bandstand. The town's war memorial also stands in the grounds as well. Open air theatre also takes place in the summer months. While I marvel all the colourful plants, flowers and the beautiful castle in the background, I think we do have to give a big shout out to all the people who look after and maintain these gardens. They just do a fantastic job and it looks absolutely stunning and beautiful. I had my lunch I brought with me at the D-Day Memorial. Food and sun just go so well together. If you do wish to go inside the castle, you can do so at a fairly inexpensive entrance fee of £4.50. Inside, you'll see many pieces of information and history about the castle. Once you have finished seeing the ground floor of the castle, do make sure you do climb the steps to go to the top of the castle. At the top of the castle, you'll be able to see great panoramic views all across Guildford. In the castle grounds, you'll also find the Alice Looking Through the Glass sculpture, which pays tribute to Alice in the Wonderland books by the author Lewis Carroll, who also lived in Guildford. After I'd finished looking around the castle grounds, 
I then headed round to Guildford Museum, which is free to enter. There are many great historical instruments and tools you can see here, and there is some great information about the history on the area as well. Once we had finished in the museum, we headed to our next stop of the day, which was the Millmead Lock and the River Wye. It's a really great river to have a stroll down, sit back and watch the world go by. I saw some really nice pubs along the way, such as the Britannia and the White House, which looked really great places to have a drink. If you wish to do a boat trip down the River Wye, you can book this through the National Trust website. It's £8.90 for a 40 minute boat ride down the River Wye. This applies to both members and non-members of the National Trust. Departures for the boat trips take place at Dap Dune Wharf in Guildford. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed that tour of Guildford and the castle. It was really nice to see. That castle was amazing. Obviously the grounds were free. I paid £4.50 to go in the castle, which wasn't too bad. But you don't need to pay to go into the grounds anyway. So if you do want to go and see the view of Guildford at the top, it's probably worth it. It's fairly inexpensive anyway. Um, as I say, the museum was free, which was good, nice to look around for about 10 or 20 minutes. That was really nice as well and to have a walk down the river way which is really nice to have a walk down as well anyway guys thank you very much for watching we'll catch you in the next video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye for now